Cedric and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the gliss, that glissando, that swooping thing going up. Uh, trombones and violins do an excellent job of that. Singers of course can as well. Um, on keyed instruments it's much more challenging um, and brass instruments have their own challenges as well and I think there's some half valve techniques in, involved in that but um, I don't know anything about that but clarinet I do know some stuff. So, um, so how to do gliss on the clarinet? Well because we've got holes, we can open up the holes gradually, okay? And many of you have probably tried this out before. Uh, it's tricky, but um, one thing to note is you want to sort of pull them off, not one at a time, right? Uh, start with the bottom before it's very far along, pull the next one off. Uh, before it's very far, far along, go on like this and so on and so forth. Um, so... <laughs> Including the thumb, right? Um, now, eventually, I'm starting from a G because if I start lower, it's really hard to lift that key that delicately. Um, it, yeah, it takes so much precision and it still is muffled and then clear, and so it's not really a smooth uh, effect. Now, that's half of it. The other half is actually done with the mouth. Um, but actually in the low register, the mouth doesn't really help it out. So it's mostly fingers in the, in the low register. In the second register, if you do just the, just the, the fingers, pardon me, you get some bumps. So what you have to do is you have to play as flat as you can. Okay, bend the pitch as much as you can and then start pulling away. Because when you bend the pitch a lot, then you don't, uh, it doesn't matter what your fingers do. Here's an example. That's bending the pitch a ton, but it's just to show you that really fingers don't matter at, after a point when you go flat enough. So if you start flat here, And then I went in tune, right? Okay, so how do you go that flat, okay? Uh, well, starting on a high note is probably easiest. Starting on a high C. And so um, think of the word ear, but make it two syllables and uh, think ear, ear, -er, right? Um, so that type of English R uh, really allows us to bend the pitch enormously. seventh there so um now we don't need to bend it that much but if you can bend it at least a whole step then that's good that's a good start for sure um some of the glisses the small ones or the scoops into notes are done just with the armature or can be done just with the armature um but uh so that's that's that part. So use a tuner and see, you just play around and see how far you can bend the pitch. And my armature stays firm, turns out. It's just the inside of the mouth that, that changes. So, because if you, if you loosen your armature and you drop your jaw, then you can get a whole step, but you don't get the same control. It's still reliant on your fingers. So bending it with the ear is going to help you. Um, Okay, so how to do the gliss once you've learned how to bend the pitch? Well, then uh, I suggest starting on a B, going slightly flat like that, and then while you're flat, pulling the first finger off to go to C. Now to go back, you go back to your regular embouchure, right? Regular playing, so... 
okay, so that's small glist, but it'll get larger. So we start on a B flat now. Then. Yeah, that was right. So, uh, so yeah, the more you do that, the the better you become at bending, and you're you're bending lower and lower notes, which is tough, right? It's its own skill, and um, you kind of have to forget the all the good things about beautiful tone for uh, for a moment. You have to let yourself sound ugly for a while, okay? And then you can decide how ugly you want the sound to be in the end. But a gliss is not the same tone. Uh, that's part of what draws attention um, when you play. It's not the same quality suddenly, right? Um, so that, uh, that, that really stands out. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Now, other things, if you're... Um, some things I'm working on, like crossing the break, doing a gliss, is doable to some extent. I'll do... I'll try to do a C to... Ah, how about open G to high G? The challenge I find there is opening these holes. So it's um, opening them gradually enough so that we don't hear. Because remember, in the lower register, the armature doesn't do much. Although I still play flat because it helps a little bit. Yeah, it does help. So still play as flat as you can, but you're not going to bend it a third or anything like that. Um, then um, another thing that some people uh, some people find that D is the starting point for glisses in the second register. But actually, you can start on C. Or B. The thing is, you have to start opening this hole. You don't want to start with the B and the C, sh C sharp. If you do that, it's going to be so slow and, and still bumpy. So hold the B key down. And start with that right hand as you do otherwise. And yeah, quite doable. Uh, you can also cross the upper break. Now, if you start on a C, it's kind of tricky because um, you have to go flat, right? And so it's going to be noticeable. You're going to bend and, and go up. So if you start on a little lower, one of the things when you do cross that upper break is you need to get these fingers back down before too long. So you start your gliss here, and then you start to get them these back down. Otherwise, if you don't get them back down, there's going to be a, a break crossing at some point there, right? Um, if you're already back in tune, there'll be something in there. Uh, you can theoretically also go to the fourth register. I guess you have to start glissing up to, towards the F sharp, and then you have to get your fingers back down uh, as if you're doing a, a G of, of sorts, and then up to the A. I don't bother with the pinky once you're up there. Um, the, uh, your armature ends up doing a lot of the work uh, when you're glissing up, up that high. Uh, and here's another trick that I've, I've worked on. octave and fifth without moving my fingers. If you can figure out how to do that, let me know. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Happy glissing. Have fun. Bye.